Every Ukrainian knows the word polenitsia. It refers to a type of bread. It is used to distinguish Russians. Due to differences in language, they cannot pronounce it correctly. But now they will have to learn this word from a completely different perspective. The state has launched a grant program for private rocket projects, invested in state design bureaus, and implemented deregulation to stimulate this industry. And here are the first results. Introducing Palanitia, the first Ukrainian long-range rocket drone. Most of its technical characteristics are classified to avoid revealing capabilities to the enemy. However, we have learned a few details. Two dozen Russian military airfields are within its strike range. The production team consists of specialists from various fields, including people who had never worked with defense technologies, but due to enemy aggression, took up the development of Palenitsa. The work involved two aspects unusual for military industry. The first is the pace. It was developed in just a year and a half. To achieve this, the team worked without days off or vacations throughout the whole period. Their motivation was solid. The longer the delay, the more peaceful Ukrainians die. The second aspect is that the developers did not consider the project's profitability, which is common in the defense sector. Their only priorities are reliability and effectiveness. The structural features are classified. Well, almost. The Palenitsa will be launched from a ground platform. It uses a turbojet engine. It is equipped with electronic countermeasures. The rocket drone is connected to a satellite and therefore knows its exact location. If the connection is lost, there are other systems to keep it on the required trajectory. And what about the price and number of rocket drones? Modern systems cost millions of dollars per launch. Here, the cost is much lower than its counterparts. Moreover, the work on cutting the cost and increasing production is ongoing. Why is this so important? In the two and a half years of full-scale war, Russia has launched over 43,000 various types of missiles and glide bombs at Ukraine. It still dominates the air. Yet the Americans and the Brits still do not allow the use of their Atakams and Storm Shadow missiles against Russian airfields, where carriers of missiles and heavy aerial bombs are based. So Ukraine is looking for its own response. Real Russian air bases catch fire from Ukrainian drone raids more and more often. Just on the night of August 14th, military airfields Halina, Savasleika, Borisoglebsk and Baltimore were hit. On August 21st, a radio reconnaissance center and an airport near Moscow, as well as the Milerova air base. News of drone attacks on Russia is now almost daily. Sounds good, but rocket drones are better. They fly faster and carry a larger warhead. So Russian airfields, be ready. The goal of the Palenitsa is to destroy the enemy's offensive potential and to do it on their territory. The first Ukrainian long-range rocket drone Palenitsa.